guys hope you're all doing well uh, today this is just going to be a little update video about what I've been doing um, so I'm going to start off with what I've been sewing or well I'm starting to sew so this is a 1960s shift dress pattern and a matching jacket um, I've what I've done is mixed and matched this up so the shift dress underneath is actually um, this one which is Simplicity 1609 so I'll just bring it up a little closer so you can see so that's the dress pattern that I'm making and then because I couldn't find a jacket I've actually chosen the Burda style jacket which is uh, it's picture B there where my finger is so that's a little jacket and then if you see on the back side it's just that one there. So that's what I'm making. So it's going to look really good once it's done. And it's got the little collar that comes up here. And then at the because it does up at the back, I'm going to put big white vintage buttons down the back. And it's just going to look really good once it's done. So that's what I've been making anyway. Um, and then I've done a bit of shopping online. And I managed to find these really nice... 60s 70s go-go boots and they're lace-ups as well they're so comfortable I think they cost me about 25 pounds so I've been wearing them with um, my roll necks and my mini skirts um, and then also I've got some boots on here which I really want to show off and these are my mod my little mod shoes here my boots and they are so, they've been used, I think they've been worn once, and I think I got them, how much did I pay for them, about 12, 14 pounds, something like that on, on eBay. And they're so comfortable, so I'm wearing them today, and I thought I would match them up with my roll neck top, vintage beads, glasses, which I got on eBay, those like three quid, and uh, they're, they're actually... This is quite funny. They've actually got the Vivian Westwood sign on them, but then I don't think they're real. I think they're all fake ones. But because um, I've got quite a small face, I have to get uh, kids' glasses. So I've got four pairs of these. I've got a brown leopard, a normal brown, a white, and a black. So all, I think you can get pink as well. So these are actually kids' glasses, and I only pay like three, four pound for them. So I've started like getting my own little collection going. And then when I go out, people think they're actually Vivian Westwood, but they're not. Um, so yeah, that's a bit about what I'm wearing today. I've matched it up with these really nice 1960s. They're not original. Um, again, these have only been worn once, once or twice from the lady. And they're really nice. Got a little zip there. And then at the back. And they're just so nice to wear out in the winter with thick tights, boots, roll neck. And then I wear a big coat over the top. Um, another place I went to is Petticoat Lane Imperium, which is down at Rams Ramsgate. I was going to say Margate, then Ramsgate. Um, and it's really nice in there. And there's a lady that's got a shop at the bottom, and she does all like handbags and everything. And it's all brand new, nothing um, second hand. These scarves were actually brand new as well. So I've got, I think it was two for a fiver. So I bought this one, which is really nice. And they're really big as well. They're just so good. So I bought that one. And I bought this one. And this is really nice as well. They're just so nice. So I was really happy with them because they look quite 60-ish. So I was over the moon with them. Um, my friend Holly. Hi, Holly. Um, she's lent me this book which she got, I think she said she got it in a charity shop so it's actually called White Boots and Mini Skirts so some of you have probably already read it but um, I'm going to have a good read of that because it just looks really good so that's all what I've been doing um, and also I'm quite excited because I've managed to get uh, an article done um, of me and Holly when we went to the 1960s Brighton Mod Weekend that is actually going to be featured I wrote it up the uh, last I think it was the last two nights I've been writing it up 
and I've just sent it off with pictures and uh, Sarah's going to edit it all up and put it inside Vintage Life magazine. So obviously if you do read that monthly, look out for me and Holly because um, it's quite a good read up. So I'm quite excited to see that out in the magazine. Um, what else have I got to say? Oh yes, my monthly stall that I do at Whitstable is coming up on Sunday, um, the 8th of October, 10 till 4, Whitstable High Street inside the Umbrella Centre. I will be there and I will be selling all my lovely 50s and 60s clothing. So, most of it is handmade, um, some of it is original vintage, so there's uh, bits of everything really. So yeah, pop along if you can. It's free entry and there's a lovely little cafe behind which is called the Umbrella Cafe. So you can go in there and get tea and coffee and, and whatever. Um, so yeah, hopefully the weather won't be too bad for us. And I'm just going to enjoy sitting there and having, having fun. Because I think Holly's coming down to see me as well. So that should be quite fun. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But um, that's all I've got to say really. I will be back on camera with some other videos uh, next week so it's been a bit of a hectic week because my car went wrong so obviously I had to get that sorted out so I haven't had time really to come on camera but I'm getting on top of it now and there will be some more videos coming out so I hope you've enjoyed this one uh, please if you want to see pictures of this and obviously I will model it when it's done it'll probably be done in about two three weeks time um, but if you visit my page on Facebook which is called Breakfast at Tiffany's Boutique that is where all my dressmaking stuff goes and also the diary of a vintage girl that is my fashion blog page on Facebook and that's got everything from the 1920s right through till the 1960s, 70s um, and I just blog on there basically about little bits of what I'm doing different fashions, how to wear it and all stuff like that so feel free to go on and follow me on Facebook and um, I will speak to you all later Okay, I'm off out now. Enjoy your day and I'll speak to you later. Bye!